Hey guys, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Did you know that you can get Lightroom on the Apple TV now? So I was looking around the other day on my Apple TV at what new apps were available and I saw an icon for Lightroom. So I thought today I would install it, run through it, show you how it works with Lightroom Mobile, how you can get your images on your TV, you can sl show slideshows of all of your images, pull up certain collections, and uh, let's run through it. So it's Lightroom, available for the Apple TV, Pretty cool, very basic functionality. Look at your photos, look at your collections, and view slideshows. But great way to get the photos onto your TV as a background screen saver, maybe a preview for a client or something like that. So let's dig in to Lightroom on the Apple TV. All right, everybody, so let's get started here on how we are going to look at Lightroom for the Apple TV. So to get started, if you've never used Lightroom Mobile, what you want to do is go to lightroom.adobe.com. You're going to sign in. So we'll go ahead and sign in here. And this is my Lightroom on the web. Now I'll do a big tutorial on Lightroom on the web later because it's actually pretty cool. I have taken some photos that I've done at a client site. Um, put them into a Lightroom catalog, into a collection, then did a sync with those so they're on Lightroom Mobile, got onto a plane and uh, or gone to the hotel that night and really quickly gone through and done some base edits where I can put all the images there that my client, I can do my picks and the client can go through and add comments and tell me what they see or what do they want or maybe they want something in a black and white or sepia tone or something. I can go through really quick, do some very fast edits on Lightroom Mobile and show them and when they give me the go ahead that I know that I have my selects, I know that I have the base edits done, I could then hop into Lightroom and do a lot more. I'll cover that later. So for today what I want to show you is in Lightroom, let's go ahead and actually bring up Lightroom really quick. I like Lightroom Mobile and it's getting more powerful all the time. So let's bring this up. I'm going to squish this in here so that we're recording the whole thing. Now this catalog is not in a Lightroom sync, but to get Lightroom Mobile started, what you need to do is you go right up here to this area where the name is, click this little down arrow and you will see sync with Lightroom Mobile. Now if I do that, I'm going to get an error because I've already got one that's syncing, but that's it. You sync with Lightroom Mobile. And you come down here into collections and you can right click a collection and there will be an option here that says sync with Lightroom Mobile. You'll check that and that will automatically start going up on the Lightroom Mobile. And then in Lightroom Mobile what you'll see is you will see recent, you'll see recent collections, all collections, recent photos, all photos. So let's go in here and view all the collections. Look at these architectural photos. So these are in my catalog and then these are syncing here. So now this is how they'll appear. And now for this video, let's go ahead and jump into the Apple TV and show you how on the Apple TV we're going to get Lightroom installed. So right now, I'm looking at Apple TV. I can go over here to the App Store. So I'm bringing up the App Store. It's right here in the Apple TV. So let's go over here. We'll just go to Search. And we can just search for Lightroom. So you can do this two different, a couple of different ways, right? If you have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up, you can do it with that. I am just using the Apple TV re remote. And there it is, Adobe Lightroom. I was so surprised when I saw this as an app in here. So let's click this. It comes up, basically tells you, lets your photos shine with the all new Lightroom for Apple TV. So basically it gets your photos onto your TV, all your Lightroom photos with your latest edits, and then share memories. So let's go ahead and click on Get. It's going to download it. It is a relatively small app. Now it's nice. One thing that's a total pain with the Apple TV is inputting passwords. But what we're going to have here is we're going to click sign in. So right here basically tells us view your synced photos and collections and enjoy slideshows. Click sign in. And now we need to go to lightroomadobe.com slash TV. So we are already at lightroomadobe.com. Let's put lightroom.adobe.com slash TV. Now I'm already signed in to Adobe, as we can see up in the upper right. There I am. I'm going to put in 9 Victor Delta Yankee Hotel 8. Click Finish. The device is now authorized. I can close this browser window. And there we go. So now I have my collections that are in my Apple TV on here. 
So let's go into, actually this is a great collection right here. Let's go into this Howard Core posters. We can see these posters of violins being made. We can swipe from poster to poster. So these are on my TV right now. And then the other thing that we can do is we can go in here and your Apple TV has a play button. So if you just hit play, it's gonna start a slideshow. And there it goes. So let's stop that. Let's go back and see what settings that we have available, if there are. So let's click over here to settings. So if we come down, we can see it'll reload collections when it comes up, slide dur duration medium, and collection usage data. So that's it. So it's really just for viewing photos and um, doing a slideshow on your TV. Now what would be cool is if we could do um, maybe some music behind this, which I don't, there's not that option right now, but maybe if you could load your Pandora music in the background and then have that playing while you had a slideshow playing. So we'll just go here, collections. Let's bring up another collection, see how it looks, because I have this ultra wide one in here. So there we go. We can swipe through. I think that looks pretty awesome. So these will just rotate through. You know, so if you have a studio or something you want to show your stuff off, or you're doing a preview, you, know, you can play some music externally, start up a preview, very quick, easy way. You know, like here's a family, right? So if we we're bringing up this family and they were coming over and we wanted to show them a preview of their images, right? We could do that. So there you go. That is Adobe Lightroom for Apple TV. Cool little program. It ties in directly with the Adobe Creative Cloud ecosystem. So you go from Lightroom Mobile, you go from Lightroom to syncing to Lightroom Mobile to getting that instantaneously on your Apple TV. Um, you know, great service. And then the good thing with this is you take your Apple TV with you somewhere to a client's place or whatever, you plug it in, you can just bring up that collection right off the bat. Great way if you've got a huge TV, you know, a projector system or something else to show off some photos in a really large fashion. So that is Lightroom for the Apple TV. And there you go, that's it. That was Lightroom for the Apple TV. I hope you found that useful. Um, it was a total accident that I found it. So I haven't seen any advertisement from Adobe on it, but great way to get the, the photos onto your TV. I know that that's gonna help a lot in our household because everybody always wants to see different photos. So now they'll be on there with whatever I sync with Lightroom Mobile. So you guys have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Did you catch yesterday's video? If not, click the video in the lower left to go to yesterday's video. But I wanna remind you that right now I'm giving away a DJI Inspire case by Think Tank Photo. It's a $340 case. Awesome case, you can see that review and the giveaway in the video right to the side of me at the top. All that you need to do is go to that video, watch, subscribe, which you can click the subscribe link below to subscribe, and you can win this case right here. It's for the DJI Inspire. It's an awesome case. It's my way of saying thank you to you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. So check out yesterday's video. Check out this one if you're not entered yet. All you have to do is just comment, like the video, subscribe, and you'll be ready. We're over 4,000 subscribers now after just about two months or so of starting this channel. Once we get to 4,500, I'm gonna draw a name for this case. I'm gonna send it out to somebody just as a way of saying thank you. So thanks guys for watching my videos. Have an awesome day. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.